Welcome everybody to the Feeding Frenzy Friday. My name is Brian. This is where we break down the Friday featured asset from Notes Direct. If you are someone looking to buy notes and you want an expert opinion, this is the place to be. We have Scott Tyler, a veteran of almost 30 years in the note business, giving us his thoughts on these notes. If this is a value to you, we would love for you to just smash that like button. Make sure you subscribe to our channel. Click that bell notification so that you get a notification every single time we post one of these videos ahead of the emails. Let's go. All right, Scott, so what do you got for us today? Brian, searching through Notes Direct, I came across this loan in Bronson, Michigan. No, not Bronson, Missouri, but Bronson, Michigan. A little bit different, uh, you know, property than it's something that uh, you'd see probably in, in Bronson, Missouri, but uh, a good loan, man. Um, it uh, well season loan, um, about seven years. It is a uh, got good equity in it. Buyer is a good payer, makes consistent payments every month, and we'll get into more of that here in a second. Hey, not only is he paying, he also pays for his taxes and insurance and his payments. So all around, pretty decent loan for some some passive investor to get their hands on. That's awesome. So let's let's chat a little bit about um, you know any time that we're looking at a uh, at a note to buy. Uh, probably the most important aspect you know in, in figuring out if it's a good note or a bad note is the the borrower. So kind of walk me through what did you see here uh, at a first look when you looked at this borrower? Yeah, yeah. Well, the first thing I did was I go to the pay history, right? I want to I want to see how he's paying each month and. If I can, I'm going to try to take over the controls for a sec and um, show you the pay history that um, that I pulled up. Here, as you can see, can you see that well, Brian, yeah. the pay history? Yeah. Okay, good. I'll start here, you know, with the August payment. He's consistently paying around the 15th to the 20th, 25th each month. 8-1 payment, paid on 8-17. 7-1 payment, paid on 7-21. June payment 622, May payment 518, and I can keep going on and on, but as yeah. you can see, he's paying towards the end of the month, um, you know, about second, third week of the month, but man, he pays every month about that time. Yeah. Um, very consistent payer. I think the one time I didn't see was this December of last year's payment. He paid that on the 10th, paid it a little earlier, but I'm assuming that was probably, you know, getting ready for Christmas, getting all his bills paid so he could, you know, have money, knew, knew what his budget was before Christmas, so to speak. Yeah, absolutely. And, and I think that when you, we look at this, you know, seeing that the pay history is really uh, solid, that's obviously going to bring our risk down. But I think the bigger picture here of what really lowers our risk is just simply looking at the loan to value or the investment to value. And we've got an asset that's worth over 120000 or let's just say it's in the $120,000 range and right. a loan that's that's twenty. Three thousand, yeah, about twenty-three thousand dollars. So, from a, a loan to value standpoint, where uh, you calculated twenty-two percent, uh, from an investment to value, we're at nineteen percent. So, you're just there's so much equity in this asset that uh, that's ultimately what stands out to me as far as from a risk perspective. Other than the buyers consistently paying, we have just a, a really low investment to value, and that just makes this deal even sweeter. Yeah, no doubt, no doubt. I mean, <laughs> when you can invest your you know, it's a it's a low risk, and you're investing your money, and in your investment to value is below 20%. I mean, it's a slam dunk in my mind. Yeah. I mean, you're you're obviously lowering that big time and, and feeling comfortable about your asset. Yeah, and I'd say that for a note like this, you know, there's a lot of investors who are going to say, well, you know, that's a that's a really low uh, loan amount. That's a really low unpaid balance. That doesn't right. seem very attractive. But the reality is, I think there's a whole other group of investors who are saying, actually, if I'm going to, maybe this is your first note or, or your 10th note, and you're saying this is actually a perfect one to go ahead and add in um, because yeah. I've got a good amount of room in there. Uh, as well as it's a longer loan. And so maybe you have a small IRA and your uh, your father's IRA, uh, you know, you could sell a partial to. So, I mean, I think there's just a, a lot of opportunity um, in a note this size with uh, with this much, um, you know, margin yeah. in it. To piggyback off that, that's exactly right. Whether, you know, you sell off a partial or maybe this is one that you want to invest for your grandkids or for yourself and just let this sucker ride out for 25 years, right? I mean, he's showing he's paying and, uh, on a consistent basis. So yeah, and that you could do that or set it up for one of your kids, or your grandkids and their IRA and, and 
kick off their, you know, their financial future in a, in a good way. And it, it is a rural property, uh, but we've talked about rural properties before, you know, people shy away a little bit from them, but man, these loans are being made in, in, in rural America because the, 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 you know, the market, you know, the mortgage companies and the banks really don't want to lend in uh, those areas on smaller valued homes, you know, so, you know, this is, you know, probably 75,000 original sales price. I can't remember exactly, but and that's why it was seller finance. But as yeah. you can look by the picture, it's a, it's a nice home. It's a four, two, it's got a little chunk of land on it, but 1.3 acres. So, you know, it's probably exactly what this guy is looking for. And this is their, this is their forever home, most likely. Yeah. And it doesn't matter what the population is and the size no. of a town. When you have a payer that pays consistently, that's really all we care about. We don't care if he lives in Antarctica as long as he right. pays every single month, right? As long as he has internet action, uh, connection and he can go online and make a monthly payment, you're right. He can live wherever. So thank you, Scott, for taking some time to walk us through that asset. If this asset is for you, do your due diligence and click that purchase button. Get going. If you want to see more notes, you need to subscribe to this channel. Click the bell notification because you will actually start to get these videos ahead of the email that comes out each week on the Friday featured asset. If you are new to notes or you're wanting to learn more about notes, then I would encourage you to go and register for a free one day class through our sister company, Note School. It's a one day deeper dive into everything creative financing, performing notes, flipping notes, non performing notes that gives you a better understanding of the note business through case studies. You can register for that class. It's absolutely free. You can register through the link below in the description. For the rest of you, have a great week, and we will see you next week on the Feeding Frenzy Friday.